school for uh, robotics. Like I was <laughs> Nerd. Yeah, true. Okay. Uh, I was creating the drive train program, and someone asked me, it's like, hey, can we store an array with 267 points of data? And I was like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fucking so that, it was so, <laughs> so monumental <that> <laughs> to you. <laughs> you so now it's, a, now it's an inside joke, and I see it, and I give myself a little chuckle. You're, I, <laughs> all right. That is not the, the breakdown I was, no, gonna, I was going for. it's nothing serious. Oh, uh, I thought it was funny. like an Asian number or something. I don't know. No. So we do have the beginnings of Loser's Top 6. We have Dumbling King versus Mr. Fahrenheit, who has both players have been making an absolute tear with this bracket, and Dublin King has been making a tear in the past couple of weeks. I mean, with that Gandorf uh, up there, I mean, it's going to be a big start to him. Mr. Fahrenheit going, hello? Yeah, you're, that's just Ganon things. No, 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 no. Don't just say that, because I don't know. My man air dodged away. I don't know why. I, uh, I always think it's just good things, and then look what happens. The players troll me every, every that, time. That every is time. how it goes. But you know what? Like, from a, from Dublin King perspective, like... You love to see this. You love to see, oh, yes. like, oh man, I want to play against Roy, I want to play against Crom, like, Fast Fallers, Fox, Falco. Like, give me the characters that when I hit them, it matters, instead of, like, trying to win neutral a billion times over. Because, look at this. Like, oh, okay, if you get Sweet Spot up there, there he goes crazy, but he still picks up the edge guard. Just like that. And now Dumpling, he can just potentially take a stock if Fahrenheit falls into it, but the ledge trap, the ledge trump into back air seals us to an even game yet again, Ma. Dumbo King is doing so many good things, and then uh, okay, Mr. Power just like wakes, wakes up for a second. And is like, oh wait, I'm playing Roy, <laughs> you right. know? Um, but yeah, great trouble on the on the dash attack coming in from Mr. Fahrenheit, and he's securing a really good position here, or was good position under that platform north you know, edge guard. But I mean, Dumbo King gained that grab, we made fourth throw, Mr. Fahrenheit off stage. We're going for that forward air. Oh my God, we die! What what what's my job here? To react. That was crazy. <laughs> like I, I spoke for maybe ten seconds, and then the sub, the sub was over. <laughs> That's like oh. the, there's like an underside to Smash Ultimate where, in a lot of the current characters we see, and a lot of like the progression of a lot of play styles yep. has been like, let me try to run my offense as safe as possible, and like apply safe pressure, and like play the dashback game, and you know play the clock, like do all that really good, like. Uh, very much low risk, high reward type options. Yes. And then right under the surface, there's a ton of characters that just say, yeah, but if I touch you, you explode. <laughs> <laughs> but if I breathe on you, you may you, you just, like, just fall over. Yeah, you're just, just wanna... <laughs> and both Ganon and Roy fit that marking of if I breathe on you, you explode. Yes. Roy doing it way better and having way more applications. Yes. Uh, but Dumpling King's built different. Like, <laughs> I don't. The fact that, oh, little footstool. Like, like, why? Footstool, nothing. Footstool, out of danger, and just, to get punished. Just, <laughs> just to do it. I love it. I mean, and, you know, whatever. We go for the upper for Mr. Fanner, who still is untouched, by the way. We did get a little footstool in, but there we go. The back are going to be starting off something for Dumpling King. And you see how two hits be become 40%. Now, for two, they're almost lapping in percentages here at uh, Mr. Fahrenheit. Guess these triple up airs coming in. Oh, and now, Dumpling King res we responding with his own downer into up there. That was a risky play there by Fahrenheit to do a ledge drop double jump there, but instead he gets rewarded for it and finds the edge guard following up on all of that. And if you, you gotta respect the gumption from Mr. Fahrenheit. It's like hey, he's going out to edge guard every single time, and like that's what you have to do. You can't play afraid into Ganon, and you cannot try to play the spacing game with Ganon's really large hitboxes. You just kind of have to rush him down because one moment of hesitation, one glimpse of fear is when the up smash comes out and takes that stock. Dunkman King yet again in very even position and looking to try and maybe take some more. That ledge drop double jump nair is going to get him blown up. He's going to lose the set for it. Um, I was smash. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. that. True. No, that was really cool, honestly. But Dominic King keeps kind of kissing and playing around with like the ledge here, and with someone like Ganondorf, who does not really like to be off the stage like all that often. And you're seeing that these air dodges also come through. I mean, and Mr. Fire is really good at capitalizing off of them, but not quite then there. So Dominic King, even at 126, I mean, you're not living to that beautiful jab into forward air. Uh, or, I'm sorry, to back here regardless, that Jeremy, may I say. And now yeah. Mr. Fahrenheit is in that advantage state where you have a whole stock up, and now you're just kind of rolling the ground with Ganondorf. Oh, we are holding for Smash. <laughs> and we dare to jump. Yeah, like, 
what if I just what if I forwarded with death a little bit? Give a give a little kiss. And, you know, we're perfectly fine after though. Mr. Frank like putting everything forcing dumpling into trying like quite up tempo a little bit. As we see like another flame choke that was attempted, some air dodges in, like really risky plays just because you, you kind of have to make them at this point. Yes. Oh, delay. The delay on recovery for Dump King allowed him to avoid the ledge jump. He's still not finding anything that meaningful hit, though. And Oh, making it back. Like, Dump King spacing and like, game plan has been really good. You've just been in disadvantage for the past 30 to 45 seconds. I know. And Mr. Fire is starting off that side B. And then, uh, you know, Dump King trying to go for that up smash as, as well, but not going to be enough. Beautiful dash attack. Not gonna be sending Mr. Fahrenheit stuck to the to the to the glass zone quite yet, but Mr. Fire is struggling, struggling struggling a little bit here to start to get something to start to get back. I mean we saw the dash tag hit, we saw the up air also hit, and now we've seen the back air also connect. I mean everything worked out so well for Mr. for uh, Dumpling King and now we're going over to that to that uh that ledge once again. I think Gandalf is one of the best ledge ledge, 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 ledge hangs in the game. He does, yeah. Oh my goodness, we die. Very good ledge hang, but you know, it doesn't help you getting off the ledge all that much. It just kind of prevents two framing or yes. some some low hitting hitboxes like Roy down tilt. You, like you kind of have to be up close and personal in order to get that to connect. But Roy has plenty of other means to apply pressure um, at whatever timing and whatever spacing that he so chooses. We saw the double jab into the back air. We see the jab into up air to catch the landing mix up. No quarter for Dumpling King, who's we as we go to game three. Once again, the change of skin from Dumpling King whenever he is on those final games as Mr. Fanny continues to swing, like just bold and brass. Oh, 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 we go for the double forward there off stage. Be a little bit careful here, a little bit too greedy, but thankfully able to recover it right back from Mr. Fahrenheit to reset himself and continue with these on of these uppers. There's been a big pain in Dumpling King's backside all game. The near gonna be connecting as well in the air. Dumpling King at 99%, not quite 100. We're gonna be spamming out with that jab a couple of times. And unfortunately, gonna be seeing ourselves swap positions here. And now Dumpling King should be in a favorable position here. Going for the back air rather than the up air, uh, which, be, which he has been doing a little more of. Very interesting. So now just a little bit of uh, just kind of spaghetti going on shield. Ooh, tried so hard, but gets punished with the forward throw from Mr. Fanghai. Big down there into a bigger up air. I was wondering if there was going to be something like an up smash after that uh, down air. Instead, there's the up smash I was looking for, trying to read a roll perhaps, or any sort of dash away. Dump looking, spending so long and going so low, and ends up finding the jump there. I've been saying it all set. Mr. Fahrenheit's been reckless with those double jumps from offstage, especially. Hello? Do it again. Prove me right. Okay, well, you know, that also works. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Do, do it right, again! You are up a stock! Do it time. again! Hold on, hold on. Cooking? Do it again, do it again, do it again for the one time, yeah. for the one time. No, but in all seriousness, very, very fun stuff from Duncan King. He does that all the time. When he knows he's up a stock, he plays his command grab characters. He does not care. He does not care. He will take it, and that's a W. That's a that's in Smash for a reason. So Mr. Fahrenheit, Mr. Fahrenheit is suddenly on the back end, on the back burner. We are seeing that he's up down to his last stock. We're going all the way off stage just like that, burning that up B, trying to get back to the stage, whipping that grab as well. So Dumbo King is just still in the lead, but thankfully gonna be beating out the grab with the jab into the up air, but not gonna be enough as Mr. Fire is still struggling to find an opening. There it is, spot dodge can be completely negated by the forward tilt, and then the forward air connection drop down gonna be securing the second stop from Dumbo King. It's always so tenuous. Like Ganon is truly like one of those one of those characters that can just be one touched and, and disappear. And Fahrenheit's been pressing a ton of these buttons, really taking advantage of any and all of his plus frames. And we see the juggle dropping through the platform was so nice. He's keeping Ganon in disadvantage, but Dumpling King goes back to platform. Oh, finally, wow. finds a trade. Definitely oh, does. So oh, oh he was just up to the he saw the start of the Uthmas come out. Thank you, Mr. Fahrenheit with his plus frames and much faster ah, movement can destroy that it. That up there was crazy. I see it again, though. Is the I downtown. fear Dumb King is simply different. Uh, He's <laughs> going for broke. He did ah! it again. He's still getting away with it. I'm going to scream. <laughs> okay, we got fourth though start, starting off uh, here into the up air. It's very close. Could be anyone's game. No way. Wow. That's the finish. Playing around platforms a lot was Dumpling King, but it is going to be that sound of uh, safety that those platforms offer, getting him destroyed by a simple up smash in a run back for Mr. Fahrenheit, who lost to Dumpling King 2-1 in uh, pools, but ends up finding the win where it matters in order to make it into top four. Yours is a good person. Thanks. Yours is a good person. There's no way. <laughs> like... 
Oh, Dummy King has such a great lead here, and unfortunately, just I think Mr. Fire just kind of picked it right back up, locked in, understood I'm playing Roy into Ganondorf. I should be able to just maximize your your weaknesses as a big, heavy character. Yes, you live a lot longer than most people. Yes, you you hit really hard, but you're slow. You have a horrible recovery, which we've seen multiple times in this whole set, where Dummy King just kind of just like runs off and dies, yeah. <laughs> you know, and can't come back. He did lose that stock at 106, though, so I'm not going to... Like, Roy is so crazy, right? and I am tired of the downplay. 